Mr. Owl. It looks like our friends are back. Hi, are you ready to learn? Today, I am wondering about classifying objects. But before I start, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea and I will meet you at my desk. Today, we are going to be talking about classifying objects. Did you know that classifying is just another way of sorting and matching? Take a look at all of the objects I have on my table. Tell your teacher all that you see. Now look at my objects. Can you tell if these will be used inside or outside? And what do you think the weather is like if I want to use my objects? Where I live, it is sunny right now. So I know I would be using my objects out in the sun. Is it sunny where you live? Let's get started classifying my objects. I have garden supplies and beach supplies. Let's see. I have my shovel. This shovel is special because it is metal. Would you mostly take a metal shovel to the beach or would it be better in the garden? This particular shovel is better in the garden, so I'm gonna put it in my garden bucket. Let's take a look at my sunglasses. Most of the time, I would wear my sunglasses when I'm at the beach. How about you? So I'm going to put them in my beach bag. Oh, I see this tool. Is this tool going to be better at the beach or in the garden? Probably in the garden. I use it all the time when I need to scrape out some weeds. Take a look at my floppy hat. Is this a hat that's better used in the garden or at the beach? For me, I really like to use this hat at the beach, so I'm going to put it in my beach bag. How about my sunblock? Tell your teacher, where should I put my sunblock? Most of the time, I forget to wear my sunblock when I'm in the garden, but I do put it on when I'm at the beach, so I'll put it in my beach bag. I see this tool. Where should this tool belong? In my garden basket or in my beach bag? Just by looking at it, can you tell where I use it the most? In the garden is right. Oh, how about my towel? Does this towel look like it belongs in my garden or at the beach? Tell your teacher what you think. The beach is right. Let's put that in there. I see flip-flops. Where do you most wear flip-flops? Working in the garden or at the beach? At the beach is where most of us would wear our flip-flops. So let's put these in our beach bag. I see still have one more item. Can you see my shears? Would these be better in the garden or at the beach? In the garden is right. We did it. We just sorted our garden items and our beach items. Tell your teacher where would you like to go most? To work in the garden? or play at the beach. 
classifying objects can be done anywhere. Right now, I have objects on my table of tools that can be used in the kitchen and tools that are used in the garage. Let's see if you can help me classify and sort where they belong. I see two objects that look pretty similar in color. Can you tell your teacher what objects I could be thinking about? The color I was thinking of is wood. Can you see the two wooden objects? I see a wooden spoon and a wooden hammer. They don't go together even though they are both wood. Where do you think my wooden spoon belongs? In my toolbox for the garage or in my jar for the kitchen? The kitchen jar is right. I use this spoon all the time. I don't want to get it dirty. But how about my hammer? Does my hammer belong in the kitchen jar? No, it goes into the toolbox. I see another object that's really bright. It stands out from the others. Can you tell your teacher what I could be thinking of? The tape measure is what I was thinking of. There is no other object with its color. Where should my tape measure go? Tell your teacher what you think. In my kitchen jar? No, in my toolbox. Let's look at this metal spoon. Where do you think this metal spoon belongs? Should it go in my toolbox or in my kitchen jar? In my kitchen jar is right. My kids would be very upset if I got this spoon dirty. We use it all the time too. How about my whisk? Can this be very handy in the garage? I'm not sure for what, but can I use it a lot in the kitchen? Yes, this comes in really handy when you're making cake. How about this wrench? Does it belong in the kitchen or does it belong in the garage? It should be in the garage, but sometimes I might have to use it under my kitchen sink, huh? Look at this. Do you know what this is called? We call it a masher. Should it be used in the garage or in my kitchen? Tell your teacher where it should go. The kitchen is right. Do you have a masher like this? We like to mash potatoes with it. Oh, do you know what this is called? A screwdriver. Where should my screwdriver go? In my kitchen jar or in my toolbox? Yep, into the toolbox. Take a look at my pliers. Where should my pliers go? Would they be useful in the kitchen jar or would I find them better if they were in the toolbox? Tell your teacher where I should put them. Did you say in the toolbox? Good job. That's where I'm going to keep them. Oh, I forgot this spatula. Where should this go? Can you tell your teacher one thing you make and you need a spatula? Did any of you think of pancakes? That's what we use our spatula for. So it belongs in the kitchen. And next I have a ladle. Where does my ladle belong? In the garage or in the kitchen? Do you have a ladle like this at home? What do you use it for? Did any of you say soup? That's what we use it for, so it's going to go in my kitchen jar. We did it! We classified more objects. And was it very hard? No, because classifying is everywhere. 
We do it all the time, and I bet we don't even realize it. When you clean up your room each day, do you ever sort your objects into baskets or boxes or put items into drawers or hang them in your closet? That's classifying, and I bet you didn't even know it. Today, we're going to practice classifying one more way. Can you tell your teacher what objects you see on my table? Some objects even look pretty similar to each other. Tell your teacher what activities do you think my objects would be used for? I see fabric and needles and pins and special scissors and tape measures. I'm wondering if one of my objects is for sewing. And other objects I see would be really handy when I have to do some schoolwork. So let's start classifying. I'm going to start with the biggest object I see. It's this right here. Have you ever seen a hoop with fabric before? Uh, where do you think that would be used? Tell your teacher where it should go. In my sewing basket? or in my school pouch. Sewing basket is right. I use that to sew on. How about my scotch tape? Where do you think I would be using scotch tape? For sewing or for school? Did you say school? You're right. I'm going to put it in my school pouch. Oh. I see this box of pins. Where do you think I could best use this box of pins? Would it be very good for holding paper together? Not really. What about this box of pins? Where do you think I could best use them? For school or for sewing? Do you think I can hold paper together really well with these pins? Or would they better be used on fabric? What do you think? Did you say fabric? You're right. These pins are best to use on fabric. So let's put them in my sewing basket. How about these scissors? These scissors are made for paper. So where do you think I should best use them? In my sewing basket? or in my school pouch. School pouch is right. Let's put those there. I saw scissors before too, so let's get these scissors. These are fabric scissors. They do not cut paper. So if you ever see fabric scissors, they're only used for fabric. So where should they go? In the sewing basket or the school pouch? In the sewing basket is right. Look at my pin. Where do you think my pin belongs? Tell your teacher, where could I best use my pin? Did you say for school? You're right. This pen works best on paper. So I'm going to put it in my school pouch. Look what I have here. A needle and thread. This one might be pretty simple to decide. Tell your teacher where it should go. In my school pouch or my sewing basket? Sewing basket is right. This is perfect for material. How about my glue? Should glue like this be used on fabric or is it better used on paper? Did you say paper? You're right. Let's put this in my school pouch. Oh, this is a tape measure. It sure is long and curly. Where do you think it best should be used? For fabric or for paper? 
probably for fabric. This is nice when you have to stretch over bumpy things. Tell your teacher what kind would be better for schoolwork. How about my pen? Where should my pen go? This is a highlighter. I like to use it if I want to really mark something so I don't forget. Would I mark that on my sewing kit or would it be better in my school pouch? Yep, in my school pouch. This would be something I would use for learning. Oh, do you see my buttons? Where could I best use my buttons? For school or for sewing? Did you say sewing? Yes. These buttons are best used for sewing. But when we start counting objects, we can use these buttons like for counting objects. So I'll remember they're there. I have a pencil. Where should my pencil go? In my sewing basket or in my school pouch? Yep, that one was pretty easy. This goes in our school pouch. And last but not least, my pencil sharpener. Where should my pencil sharpener go? In my school pouch? or in my sewing basket. Yep, you guessed it, in my school pouch. We did it again. Wasn't that so much fun? Do you know that as you go throughout your day, you can keep on classifying? Next time, we're gonna be practicing classifying outside. When you go outside, I want you to look around and see what you can classify for fun. Mr. Owl, we sure classified lots of objects today. Do you remember what I wondered about when we first started? I wondered about classifying objects. But the most important question is, what do you wonder? See you next time.